Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the newly updated Windows Task Manager. So this is for Windows 11 and right now it's just on one of the dev channels for the Insider program. So if you're using the retail version, you might not have this yet, um, unless you're watching in the future when they actually implement it, then you will. So you may be used to seeing Task Manager looking like this here, with the tabs across the top, and then your main section here with the yellow um, colors down there. So to open Task Manager in Windows 11, the easiest way is to click on, right-click on the Start button, Task Manager. And now you can see we have the, the uh, menu items on the side, and we have the little hamburger here, so you could actually close them off if you just want to see the icons. And then across the top, we have some uh, menu items here as well. Let me expand this a little bit. So each category here will have its own menu item on top here depending on what you need to do but each one will have a run new task no matter where you are so you can see the categories are kind of the same here you know just a different way to get to it in the new interface to make it look more up to date then one thing you'll notice too is this new status column here with these icons here so like you have this pause one here if you hover over it so it's a spending process to improve system performance and this one here is using efficiency mode. So some Microsoft products like, you know, Edge and I think the Office products will use this efficiency mode to kind of uh, cut down on resource usage when you're not actually using them. And I think you, could, you might be able to turn that off as well, but you'd actually see that from here, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, we have the usual colors with the darker colors showing the higher resources and that type of thing. And then we also have some settings here. So if you want to change your default start, page or tab, well I guess it's not really tabs anymore, but the page here, you could do that. Uh, the update speed, you could change that. And then how you want it to run, always on top, minimize on use, item minimize, and then these other options here for showing the full account name and the history for all processes. You could turn that on or off. And up here you have your view options. If you want to change that, you know, like I said, each one's going to have its different sections here. You know, copy and you could open resource manager. Uh, you could open an app from there, change your startup item. So this is all stuff you could do before. So one thing that you might like is the ability to change the colors here. So let's say you don't like this blue and you want to change something else. You could go to your Windows personalization settings. Let me reopen that here. And then you want to go to the colors section here. And let's say we want to use red. So that'll change this to reddish color here. And then also, if you want to change the mode for, uh, you know, the light, light and dark mode like most of these Windows apps have now, because before you couldn't do that in Task Manager, but now Task Manager supports dark mode. So you have to change that for your computer. You can't just change it for uh, Task Manager. This is, you know, system-wide thing. Some of the Windows apps you could change per app, but... For task manager, at least right now, you have to change your whole system mode, and now you have the uh, dark mode for task manager as well. So let me turn this off here because I like the uh, regular mode here. You can also do custom mode here. Let's just put it back to light. And then, you know, obviously, like I said, you could change your colors and so on. So it's pretty cool. So like I said, you may or may not have it depending on when you're watching it and what version of Windows you're running. But once you do have it, you'll be able to go in here and start playing with it and see if I missed anything or any new features and uh, try it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.